The migrant surge in El Paso is affecting the capacity of Las Cruces shelters as well. Shelters there tell ABC7 they're now unable to take additional people in. ABC7's Carrie Mannix has more of our complete coverage from our New Mexico Mobile Newsroom. And a representative from a shelter here in Las Cruces says it's not a question of whether the shelters are being utilized, but rather how they can do more while they're at capacity. We are uh, functioning at our full capacity and um, you know, I can't really speak about the other organizations, but they're they're basically in the same boat where they take, you know, just as much as they can every single day, and then that's the best that they can do. According to Las Cruces Mayor Ken Miyagashima, the migrants seen in this influx are primarily from Venezuela, with which he says the U.S. does not have diplomatic relations. This means Venezuelan migrants do not have sponsors. The mayor says he thinks this crisis shows the need for immigration reform in the U.S. Claire Campos of El Calvario United Methodist Church agrees. Ideally, our government would do better, but, you know, I mean, I, <laughs> I, I don't feel like I have the power to make those changes. Without sponsors, these migrants stay in El Paso, and only a certain number of migrants can be sent to Las Cruces because of available space. So many migrants are left with no other option but the streets. They're in a very dire situation here. And that's why, you know, whatever little bit we can do to help out. But I think this is, this is not a, an El Paso problem, a Las Cruces problem, or a border problem. This is a United States problem. It's a big fear for even us here in, in our organization that these people are going to get taken advantage of, um, taken. Uh, you know, there's children out there. And the mayor says he feels officials from across the southwest need to figure out who can house these migrants in the area and across the U.S. From Las Cruces, Carrie Mannix, ABC7. A spokesperson for the Office of Emergency Management said they're overseeing this process and they have a formal plan for monitoring to see if the situation reaches a disaster level, at which point they'll respond with further action.